you did something that was pretty brave. A, a, a lot of people, when, when they're going through depression or when they're going through this phase, don't want to tell anybody about it. And I think the more people come out with it, the more it benefits everybody else. At what point did you start to think, you know what, this game means everything to me, but at the moment it doesn't? Yeah, I probably noticed it. Uh, looking back, I probably noticed it around September, maybe maybe earlier uh, last year. and. Um, when I finally came out that I was struggling was in November, so I'd probably held on to it for a little bit too long. And um, with that sort of following me around and going through different series, still traveling around Australia, it was, um, yeah, it certainly wore me down and, and to the point to I actually forgot, it felt like I'd forgotten who I was as a person. Um, I'd become this basically um, cardboard cutout of a cricketer who's just getting put on a plane, put on a bus, at a cricket ground, and I just had to put on a smile every day and pretend that everything was okay. And um, inside my mind, everything was was not okay. It was, um, I was sort of going to a bit of self-destruction mode and um, I, I just didn't know how to stop it. So uh, when I did finally put my hand up and say everything was um, sort of imploding in my mind, um, they. They were so good to be allow, to allow me to actually have that time away from the game. And people don't understand it. I mean, I, I made the mistake myself when I first heard about you wanting to take time off from the game. And I said, oh, Glenn Maxwell is the last person you'd imagine. Completely unaware that the person that you see on screen is completely different from, from the person that resides elsewhere. So is, the, is there that lack of well, understanding? Well, that's the thing. I think being a cricketer, I've always put on a mask of, all right, today I'm Glenn Maxwell, the cricketer. I'm gonna smile. I'm gonna I'm gonna be my joyful, um, energetic self. And then I'm not that every day. It's I'm a pretty laid back, relaxed person off the field, and um, I have my own things I want to do away from the game. I'm I like to be quiet, and alone in, in a lot of my spare time. And um, yeah, I suppose when you when you do come up to a cricket ground, everyone expects something of you or, or something from you so um, I think putting that mask on every day is it can wear you down in that extraordinary podcast you did with with, with narrowly meadows you talked about not having emotion for eight months I, I actually heard that bit again and I thought that was incredible I, you said you had no emotion for eight months almost. yeah uh, that's a bit yeah it was it was hard like I, I think the first time there was probably one period where I I let myself go a little bit and that was when I saw my mother cry after we lost the World Cup semi. When I saw that, I lost it. and um, So that, that was probably the one time I probably let myself go. Apart from that, um, I was pretty emotionless for a long period of time. And um, it, it's, it's, a, it's just a strange place to be in when... Um, just your emotions are completely out of whack. Nothing really made sense. I, I was having weird reactions to different events. Um, something that shouldn't annoy me annoyed me, and something that really should bug me didn't even phase me. So it was just my my emotions were all over the place. I wasn't really um, I wasn't really focused on the now. I was I was just nowhere and. Yeah, I was so glad I got the help when I did. You know, it's, it's incredible that you're actually willing to come out with this because when people hear Glenn Maxwell talking about this, they say, okay, I'm not different because the first reaction would be to say, maybe I'm different. Why is it happening to me? Why is it not happening to 10 other people? So I'm delighted that, uh, that you're actually coming out and talking about this because it means other people will understand uh, they're not alone. The other line I heard mentioned about this was that it's actually no different from a knee injury or a shoulder injury, isn't it? It's just another kind of injury. Would that be a fair statement? <laughs> I'm not sure about that because um, there's no real, there's no recovery time. No one, no one really gives you a. You do a shoulder injury and they say you're out for two months. Uh, you do an ankle injury, they say six weeks or whatever. Um, when you have this illness, there's there's no return date. There's no. Um, set in stone time frame for when you get better or if you get better um, it, it's just all in your own time and um, it's not one of those things that you can rush and um, if you do all the right rehab you'll be fine um, it, it's got to be in your own time and it's got to be um, 
thorough um, and when you do return to the game it's got to be the right time um, and, and you've got you've actually just got to give it time it's just one of those things that every person will take it their own amount of time to get back into it or or if they don't want to get back into it that's fine but um, yeah it's it's got to be on the on that that person's uh, timeline 